Nehemiah was willing to back things up. He was a man of action. God's word doesn't tell us if he was right or wrong in his reaction in, in, in this, but it does show that he was vindicated. He was full of the zeal of the Lord. They had so profaned God's house, he had to send a message. You know what? As leaders here, there's a new policy going to be instituted here at Bible Baptist Church. Okay? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to say this, though. There might be times where that happens. There was a young man in, in Calvary. Uh, his name was Ben. And I was running a youth group. I was there for a few years. And um, he was just, he was a nice kid, but he was one of those kids that was always just, he's a real smart aleck. He was, was, was a bright kid, which didn't help things, right? Made him more dangerous. And we were outside one day, youth group, and uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons. And he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. And I walked over to him, and I went, bam! I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. And I said, I leaned over and I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? I led that man to the Lord right there. There's times that that might be needed. <laughs> Can some of us say, you know what? If it wasn't for God kicking my rear, I wouldn't be here. I have seen people, it literally took, sadly, a physical beating to come to the Lord.